Question 48 for linear relations, EQAO practice questions for grade 9 applied. And this one's entitled Flower Math. Sean starts a sunflower inside his greenhouse and then transplants it into his garden when it's warm enough in the spring. The sunflower grows at a rate of 6 centimeters per week. Complete the table below. And so here's the table. If you're looking at the online version of this or the downloadable PDF, you'll see the uh, this is the number of weeks, n, 0, 1, 2, and 6 weeks. And then the only number over here is the 13 for the height. And I'll show how to complete those other three spots. State the rate of change and the initial value of the relationship. And then write an equation to represent the relationship between the sunflower height, h, in centimeters to the number of weeks, n, since transplanting into his garden. So first of all, if it's growing at a rate of 6 centimeters per week, if it's 13 after one week, we would subtract that 6 to get to the, uh, the height the, uh, the day that he transplanted it, when it went into his garden from his greenhouse. So 13 minus 6 would be 7, so this would be 7 here. That was the initial height. So that's the initial value here that you're looking for, and we'll use that in the equation too. Now, uh, this does go 0, 1, 2, and two weeks. So from 13 weeks, 13 centimeters at one week, it's going to go up six to 19 after two weeks. Now we've skipped a few weeks here. You don't see the three, four, or five. So there's a difference of four weeks from here to here. So from two to six is a difference of four weeks. So from 19 to this number here, it's gone up six four times. So the difference here would be six times four or 24. So we're going to add 24 to the 19, so this value would be 43. So after six weeks, it should be up to 43 centimeters in height. Now the rate of change are these sixes is going up each time. It's, it's growing at a rate of six centimeters per week. So that's the rate of change. So if I wanted to take my calculator to check my uh, my numbers here and develop my equation. See, I've got the height is 6n plus 7. You see, the 6 gets multiplied by the number of weeks, and then you add the initial amount. So you see, 6 times 0 is 7. That's that 7 right there. If I go 6 times 1 week plus 7, so that means that it started at 7, and for one week it grew 6 centimeters, so it's at 13. If I bring that last one up, I'm going to just edit it instead of retyping the whole thing. After two weeks, see, this should produce a, a height of 19. And it does, because that's 12 plus 7 is 19. And of course, I could check the six-week one, too. If I change the uh, number of weeks to 6, see, that's 36 plus 7 is 43. So there's a 43 right there. So that's the general form for my equation. The rate is multiplied by the number of weeks, and then we add the fixed amount in the end. So the height is 6 times the number of weeks, plus 7, that's the equation that we're looking for.